we back? It is time for NBA 2K23. For the first time in what seems like decades, 2K has elevated the My NBA mode. And I'm just saying there's no better place to be subscribed to for NBA 2K23 videos than this channel right here. We are locked in, ladies and gentlemen. But if you've been around the channel since 2K17, you know my first video of every single cycle is me rebuilding my Chicago Bulls. Because let's be real, this is the only way I'm going to see these boys get that seventh championship. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get into NBA 2K23. So legit, my first time loading up in this game completely. So all of this is gonna be new to me as well. We got the Magic versus Bird era. I can't, I have so many video ideas, like I'm saying, you gotta get locked in by subscribing and leaving a like. The Jordan era, the Kobe era, and the modern era. Now the modern era is where we are gonna get our Chicago Bulls that seventh championship. Oh man, I, I ain't got no sound on, but I'm assuming something great is, is being, being said or something. Oh, man. Okay, so this looks very much the same, but that's okay. That's that's completely cool with me right now. Okay, here are the overalls for this year's game. L this lets you know that this is legit the first time I've loaded into it um, because they, they're teaching me how to play my league. Okay, I can't be mad at a lot of this stuff. Um, I think Ayo Desun was probably a little bit low. He only got one badge last year. He had zero. Now he's only got one. Patrick Williams won badge. Goran Dragic is on the team. Dalen Terry is a 71, but he looks good. Marco Shamanit still ain't got a face scan. He's like a year three technically. Still ain't got it. But Dalen Terry came in. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. The team looks good. I'm just so excited. I don't even know what to do right now. You know what I'm saying? What do I do with my hands? What else is new in this one? I'm going to assume that this is all completely the same because I picked a modern era. Don't teach me how to make trades. I know how to do that. Let's go see if trade finder logic is better. How about that? Vucevic on the last surface deal. I mean, I'm probably going to pair him with Kobe White to make an upgrade, but I got to see what that upgrade even looks like. Robert Williams, we give up that Trailblazer pick from this year. I would do this trade in a heartbeat. So the trade logic is about the same because we could go out there and finesse. We could really go out there and finesse if we wanted to. Now, when we do these first rebuilds, the Chicago Bulls rebuilds, it's usually realistic. I put that in quotation marks because it's, it's hard to be realistic in the game. Vucevic and Ben Simmons, same overall. I wonder if Ben Simmons is still a sim god. We're going to figure that out. Um... I don't think I make a trade right now. Legit, don't think I make a trade right now. Vucevic will be traded by the deadline, I think, because there's no way I'm bringing you back. He's somewhat loyal. I'm going to assume at the age of 31, he's going to regress. And then Kobe White, I don't know how much money he's going to be looking to get, but we got so many guards. Ayo DeSumo is here. Alice Caruso is here. I mean, oh, they got Dale Terry to two. But both of these guys can run the point guard or the shooting guard, as you can see. So we don't really need Kobe White. We low-key need more wings now that I'm looking at it. Javante Green's the best power forward on the roster. I hate to hear that. Uh, but it is what it is. Drummond is a backup 79 overall, baby. They want to start Patrick Williams and give him seven, 16 minutes per. Stop it. Oh, they kind of got 15 down the lines, which doesn't make sense to me. Io should be getting way more minutes than that. He was actually really important for us. Um, but how do we... Do you know what? Let's just simulate. We're going to go to around the trade deadline. See how good or bad we are. Oh, we also do have injuries in these videos. And as you can see, Andre Drummond got injured very early on. Actually, the whole squad is tired very early on. And we don't really have a backup center other than, I guess, Tony Bradley. They always make these, like, little visual changes. Lonzo Ball for Keldon Johnson. I'm going to pass on that one as well. These little visual changes. <sighs> Alice Caruso feels like a safe player on my team. But we're getting a ton of trade offers through the first two weeks of the season. Basically, I'm simulating, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm simulating to get to around the deadline to see who's buying, who's selling, and trying to make a trade a trade accordingly. So we'll see how that goes. Lonzo Ball is injured. Can't say I'm extremely surprised. Uh, but that's where we got all the backup. But, but now we kind of need Kobe White if we gonna have Lonzo out for how long? Four to six. Four to six puts us one, two, three, four. Five, six. Oh, okay, it puts us right in the realm where we will make that trade. So, I mean, maybe it is good to keep Kobe White for that insurance just in case Lonzo goes down with an injury again. But, like, I feel like fan interest is, not is like, in the game completely. Um, I didn't have to toggle it on. It's kind of just there. And for some reason, Bulls fans aren't super interested. I know we're slightly above 500, but, like, it's, it's Chicago Bulls Nation. We usually pack out the house even when we win in 20 games. Like, the Bulls fans go crazy regardless. I said we slightly above 500. The boys just went on a nice little win streak. And, and the, the fans ain't even budging. Okay, there's a 72. I'm, I'm more concerned about the fans being interested now. The, the 2K loves the Bulls. This ain't even really a rebuild. 15 games over 500. Now, it doesn't tell me what seeding I am right now. It's a lot of injuries so far. 
It doesn't tell me what seeding I am, but I'm assuming we a top three seed with this type of record. Kobe White broke his jaw. He did it on purpose. He broke his jaw the day before he was going to get traded. He did it on purpose. No offense and buts about it. Oh my God, Zach Levine is a demon. What, wait, wait, what are you averaging so far? You ain't got to tell me this. You ain't got to tell me this. I know everybody's super happy. We winning. He's averaging, a, oh, if we get the season from, from Zach in real life, it's over with for the league. Oh, we got two 29 point per game scores around here. Drummond is averaging 9 and 10. Vucevic is averaging 16. Hey, the boys are hooping. It's making me not even want to make a trade, but we kind of have to. I feel like we have to. Because we're not going to win a championship. I'm going to say that right now. Look, look how many teams are better than us. Oh, my God. It's going to take some time to get used to this. Man, it's going to take some time to get used to this. They aren't even really good, though. They, they're they not even in the playoffs. So that's something. All right, let's take a look around the league and see who's selling or rebuilding. We got to trade Vucevic. They, we are considered contending team, which is dope. Um, so are the... The below 500 uh, Cavaliers, a lot of teams buying. Okay, our first selling team. Miles Bridges is still on the roster. I don't really know if that's going to be uh, the case in real life, but who knows? Everybody's like buying, bro. Rebuilding out of 5C. What are you rebuilding on? Oh, that must be a big injury. Yep, yep. Well, one to two weeks. He'll be back. He'll be back before playoff time, and they're a playoff team, so that's cool. Uh, rebuild a team. Okay. I mean, if we can sell one last year of his deal too, I forgot Miles Turner last year of his deal. We don't want to trade for somebody who's going to walk in free agency. And I feel like Miles would do that to us. So we don't want to make that trade. Even though it says we're contending, we ain't really contending. I mean, anything can happen once you get to the playoffs, but I'm just not. Okay, let's just do trade find a Vucevic. Since we can't throw in Kobe White, it makes it a little bit harder. We got this Blazers pick that's lottery protected. Let's take a look at what the Blazers are up to. Oh, this is throwing me off. Everything is a, it's just a little bit different. The Blazers are the 10C right now. Because um, I can look at every single roster in basketball, which is a good improvement. Um, I can look at the divisions, which I guess is a good, good improvement, even though divisions don't matter in basketball. As stupid as it sounds, is there a team that's buying that we will want to dump Vucevic to? Like, how much different if we trade for Zubac, who's younger and under contract for three seasons, and we also get another piece like um, Amir Coffee? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spitballing right now. I'm just spitballing, trying to figure it out. one seeded. Timberwolves. Woo wee. There's another buying team that I mean they would they could use Vooch. Okay. I'm looking at way too much. I'm just kind of excited that we got a new game cycle. So I'm just soaking it all in. Whoa, what is this? What is this? What did I just do? Exceptions? I can throw in trade exceptions? Small feature that gets me excited about this game. Oh snap. That's kind that's kind of cool. I can't even lie to you. It's kind of cool. Um, still ain't got a buyout market, but I mean, that's kind of cool. Okay, I figured out the trade I wanted to do. Vucevic and Marco Shamanich were getting a 2023 first round pick. That is the worst swap of the OKC, part of the Paul George trade. Not that big of a, uh, a piece when it comes to picks, but it's something. We're getting a new center. Sl slightly worse than overall, but younger. And we also get Marcus Morris Sr. Because as y'all saw... Uh, we don't have a lot of wings. Oh, I do not want to throw in DeMar DeRozan. I'll tell you that. And I think I'm going to change his backup position to small forward and not center. Make that deal. Now they're asking for something else. They want Goran Dragic. They'll give me Amir Coffee. Like, why would you do this trade? Goran Dragic is, is way less valuable than Amir Coffee. Way less valuable. I mean, stop throwing in random pieces, Kenny. I just need to get used to the button functionality. I mean, I guess we'll do that trade too. Now you want more? Okay. All right. Let's go get the original trade. They are bugging. Original trade goes through boom we got ourselves a deal so technically drummond is the best center on the roster but we still feel pretty good about drummond coming off the bench we're gonna trade marcus Moore seniors his backup position to small four because again we need another one of those right now demar is taking all the small four minutes and it's just not good enough <gasps> what 2k hey i y'all know i am a sucker for way of life stuff right quality of life stuff that's what i mean so you see um, i got marcus Moore's here i can quickly change the uh javante green or io Desumu instead of me going out of the menu to going back that's a cool feature I'm, I'm gonna i won't lie to you it's a minor feature but those are the type of things that i, I just want in the game so now our new rotation looks like this they want to start marcus morris over patrick williams and throw patrick williams to the absolute bench i don't want to do that i still want uh pat patrick williams p-dub to be getting a lot of minutes because i i am invested in his um his involvement in our future uh you can still get a good 20 plus though because you are one of our better off the bench pieces 
I'm gonna get Zubas just a little bit more. Okay, this is what our lineup looks like. Can we still maintain our success as like a 4-5 seed after the trade? We're going to figure it out. Can we somehow convince Kobe White to come in and pass a physical so we can potentially throw him to another team? That really threw a little wrench in everything. We couldn't trade Kobe White. Jay Knives averaging 22, by the way. 22 and 6 and a half on not terrible, terrible efficiency for a rookie. It's pretty dope. Ben Simmons is a six man of the day. I would have loved to trade for Ben Simmons. I won't even lie to you. They needed a center, but he was injured. I mean, it is what it is. Most improved bones. Cade? Cade is out there averaging the dub. Oh my God, I cannot wait for this season. All right, we're going to simulate to the end of the year and see how good and or bad we are. Kobe is coming back in a week, but the trade deadline is today, so never mind. Luca averages 37, <laughs> 12 and 10. Uh, insane. 40, 41%-ish from three. Jay Nivey won Rookie of the Year. You saw his stats. Ben Simmons won Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis wins Defensive Player of the Year. And Bones Highland wins Most Improved. Ime Udoka wins Coach of the Year. And yeah, we're ready to potentially make some noise. Do we have an All-NBA player? Uh, there's Cavalier, Donovan Mitchell. So the Cavs might have turned it up on the second half of the season. Zach Levine makes All-NBA third team, averaging 29.7, six rebounds. He needed to get that free throw percentage up. He was close to 50, 40, 98. Oh, I can't say he was close. He, he missed a lot more free throws. But the overall shooting split's amazing from Zach. Um, Lonzo made an all-defensive team enough to make a tear come down my face. I, I'm super excited about this, man. I'm super excited. And then rookie teams, here they are. Chad is not injured in this universe, so shout out to him. No badges for the incoming rookies, it looked like. Palo has three. Ivy has one, and Chad has two. And then there, it was only six rookies that got any PT this season. Seems unlikely that's going to be the case in real life. But it is what it is. We did secure ourselves a 3C. So we actually were slightly better after the trade deadline. Or some people got worse. Oh, the Boston Celtics just ended their season on a 13-game win streak. So that's cool. We might have to go against them eventually. Um, but the, 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 the Central, the Central kind of came to play. The Central came to play. Every team made the postseason is insane. The Central is the deepest division in basketball, even though this team won 35 games. They made the play-in. They made it. Worst team in basketball was the OKC Thunder. Cannot say I'm extremely surprised. Actually, I am, because the Spurs won more games. I'm, I would say I'm extremely surprised about that. But, hey, it is what it is. There is no um, Victor Wabanyama because there is no 2K share. The servers aren't even on yet. So, um, when you're starting Poku, no disrespect. Matter of fact, let's not disrespect them. Let's not disrespect them. All right, out west, the Pelicans did their thing. I think, weren't the Minnesota Timbers the one seed when we made that trade? They fell off a little bit. Ended up being all the way down at five. The big surprise, oh, I guess, is the play-in Sacramento Kings, baby. The play-in Kings. It's a real thing, man. It's a real thing. All right. The Clippers did great. Um, Vucevic, after being traded, actually his numbers went up slightly. So, shout out to him. His three-point shooting went down, though. <laughs> he got over there and started bricking it up from three. Exactly what we anticipated. All right, here we go. We're going against the 76 in the first round. And you know what their starting lineup looks like. It's pretty good. I thought that P.J. Tucker was going to be in it, but he's not. Instead, it's Matisse Stiebel at the three, which makes sense matchup-wise because Matisse thought guarding DeMar. Um, DeMar's going to struggle, probably. It's also the playoffs. No disrespect to my legend, to my Chicago boy. Oh, my God! I said he was going to struggle. Matisse who? Matisse had a good game, but, like, when you, when you get... When you get a uh, 60 dropped on your noggin, I mean, like, what? What? A 60 piece from DeMar DeRozan in the playoff game is going to end all the DeMar DeFrozen talks. And then a 42 piece after that. Hold on. Keep keep it going, DeMar. Keep it going, DeMar. Keep, okay, he slowed down. But no, he didn't. I mean, that's about efficient as it get. Zach Levine was just on one, too. We sweep them. We swept them. DeMar, okay. That's got to be the most points scored in the playoff series by a Chicago Bull since Michael Jordan. Per game, he averaged 40. He averaged 40 on 72% shooting. This is the real-life GOAT. Number 23, who? Get number 11 in the Raptors. Raptors, Raptors, not Raptors. Well, he was a Raptor, but he was 10 back then. I cannot believe this man just averaged 40 in a playoff series, shooting 70% from the field. Um, we actually, as a team, shot it amazingly well. I mean, Kobe White's not even in a rotation. I can't even be mad because we just swept a really good team. I mean, this is insane. We did not miss, we did not miss shots. We did not miss shots that first round of the playoffs. Team stats. Let me see this. Team stats, field goal percentage, sort, 
Nobody's close. Well, okay, a couple percentage down. But like, we and we don't even hit threes. We don't shoot threes. And we did, we sucked at it. If we shot all mid-ranges, if we shot all mid-ranges, we would have shot 100% from the field this season or this postseason. All right, are we going against the Bucks? We are. It was close. It went to seven. Kim Birch in a big game seven performance from him. Um, Donovan and company, they'll be back. They'll be back. They're a young team, very young team. Isaac Corbo wouldn't even get minutes. They had Lamar Stevens getting minutes over him. I don't know how realistic that is, uh, <laughs> but it happened. I just realized they had Drummond starting. I can't even be mad. We just swept the 76ers, so I'm not going to change out the rotation now. Patrick Williams has his hands full, though. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Patrick Williams got his hands full. But if anybody can do it, it's the claw. No, it's the, it's the paw. The claw is Kawhi. It's the paw. 1-1 one, one series. 2-1 series. DeMar will not miss. He hit two threes. We don't lose if DeMar's hitting multiple threes. 2-2. Two, two. Okay. He hit multiple threes and we lost. Okay, so that last, literally the last sentence I said is no longer true. 3-2 Chicago Bulls. Are we going to the conference finals? We're going to the conference finals to go against the red hot Boston Celtics who look exactly the same and they look elite. So far in the playoffs, they've lost three games. We've lost two. We're better. Game one, the Bulls. I thought this was about to be a rebuilder video. They locked it. DeMar DeRozan is the greatest playoff performer of all time. He's shooting 61% from the field, 48% from three. He ain't never done that before. He had a season where he shot less than... <laughs> okay, okay. We're not going to make fun of him based off this season, but this is disgusting. We have taken home court advantage away, and we are up 2-0. Zach Levine. Come on. Let's get to this finals. Let's get to this finals. What is that? Uh, that doesn't matter to me. That, no, oh, no, no. I didn't want to simcast because we already up. We're in the NBA Finals. Oh, Western Conference, Eastern Conference MVP. I thought I just simulated the whole playoffs. Zion and Zach Levine, who averaged 45.86 and five and a half. The boy is hooping, y'all. He's hooping. Lonzo, this team traded you away. Hey, this roster looks really nice. I ain't gonna lie to you. They look elite. Zion versus Patrick Williams. Well, Patrick Williams just stopped Giannis and Jason Tatum in the last couple series. So I feel pretty 2-2. I, I keep doing that. Game three, Chicago Bulls. We are one game away. We are still one game away. And Patrick Williams dislocated his left patella. He was, he, he's been playing huge for us with his 24% from three. But that plus minus say he a playoff player. All right. Marcus Morris is starting now. Um, how is Marcus Morris performing in the playoffs? I mean, that's a huge blow considering we're going against Zion, who was just a Western Conference Finals player of the year, whatever you call it. All right. Game seven. We're in the United Center. We got the home court advantage. And the Chicago Bulls, the Chicago Bulls, are up big. Now, I, I would jump in, but the celebration to win the championship is exactly the same. I saw that on Twitter. The Bulls go out and win the championship after us saying we are not contenders. After us saying we are, this is the first video, so I know it's gonna be some new people watching. We play on vanilla settings. There's no adjustments happening. This team just went through the 76ers, the Bucks. The Bulls and the Pelicans. This video is going longer, bro. This is a team they were trying to three-peat on or something. I don't know. We can't stop now. We made one measly trade. That was nothing. I can't stop now. Um, They got new pictures here for Dirk, but this picture is exactly the same. This man ain't coached the, the, the Pistons in years. I cannot believe Tiago Splitter just retired. He was a wing whisperer, even though he was 7-1 center, who got dunked on by wings all the time. Who is he whispering to? Carmelo get his number retired. I'm surprised he didn't get it retired in New York, but it is what it is. No approving anything, even though I kind of want to see if there's new things that weren't here. Eliminate zone defenses. Eliminate defensive. Oh, we can run it back like it's in college. The first round of the playoffs is single game elimination. I cannot wait to make a video on this rule alone. Change the number of officials to two? Why does that matter? I mean, that means we're going to get less calls? Um, eliminate buzzer beater reviews, eliminate the coach's challenge, increase the rookie wage scale, such as first round receive improved contracts, or we can reduce it. So we talk about the amount of money these rookies can potentially get. Pretty cool stuff in there. We're going to definitely experiment with some league meeting videos. All right, let's see what happens. So um, 
we have the worst swap of OKC. So it says we're projecting at the first pick. It won't be that because we're get, we're basically getting the Clippers pick. That's what it's going to be. Um, so yeah, the Thunder keep their pick. We got the Clippers pick, which in this case is number 22. We also got the Trailblazer pick was lottery protected. They were in the lottery, so we don't get that one either. So we got number 22. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, we just won a championship. I can't complain about not having a lottery pick. You know what I'm saying? I'm sort of lost for words, man. I didn't expect for DeMar DeRozan to legit turn into Michael Jordan come playoff time. That was the last thing that I would anticipate. We got to bring Kobe White back to trade him. 72 overall, three badges. He's not here to play eventually. Uh, right now, he's here to get there eventually. Drummond turns down his money. It makes sense. You were the starting center of the championship team. Go get yourself a bag. And then Derrick Jones Jr. did too. I don't even know if you played come play. You did not play the season at all. So we're not really worried about that. P-Dub, we're going to bring you back. Kobe White restricted. $22 million? What have you done? What have you done? Oh, well, you were elite three-point shooter last season, but on, on what quantity? How many did you actually hit? He hit 40. What makes you think you're worth $22 million? I'll give you 17. I wonder if they fixed that one bug at 2K. Javante, we appreciate your two years of service, but you can you can low-key dip um, because we don't really need you because Patrick Williams is going to be better. And we're on the last year of Marcus Morris. He's going to regress for sure. We need a backup center. That's that's what we need to focus on. Backup center and another wing, I guess. The bug is still in the game three years later. How has this not been fixed? How has it not been fixed? I tried to give him a legitimate contract, and now he's back on one year. And I'm pretty sure there's a no trade clause attached to it. That's a stupid 2K bug. And I will not let it ruin my video. So I am going to go in to his contract. I was giving him, what, like 17 M's per? I'm going to legit give him 17 M's per. And I'm going to do a, tra a, a sign a trade. That's exactly what I was going to do. 2K bugging again after it be. This has been in the game for so long, bro. I cannot believe that it's still in. All right. Now that we've done that, um, what team do we feel like we can throw a young Kobe White to? It's got to be like a young rebuilding team, right? That could use another guard. But we got to figure out exactly who that is. Jay Sean Tate, potentially? And a Brooklyn pick? Because, oh, they got Kyrie Irvin? They signed Kyrie Irvin. They don't have any other guards. They got a lot of, like, power forward, small forward type guys. Um, I would do this deal. Now they want a second. Just give me the first trait that we saw. Like, 2K, stop doing that. Jay Sean Tate. And a first round pick for Kobe White. Cool. And that's a that's a cheaper deal for us. Jay Sean Tate uh, can run some small forward. I actually am probably gonna make him a full time four uh, three because he's only six four. You know what I'm saying? He's <laughs> he's a smaller body player, but he, he play big. You know what I'm saying? That's a really good pickup for us. I don't really know if they legitimately want to give him up for Kobe White, but if they were, we will sign up for that 100 percent of the time. We also signed Dario Sarge um, because we needed another backup center, and they're both from Croatia. So they got a connection there. Our starting and backup center are from Croatia. A backup shooting guard would be kind of nice considering we just traded Kobe White. And I think we're ready to go into next season, man. It's, it, we're right. Will Barton. Gary Harris kind of provides everything that we would need in the backup too. So let me go get Gary Harris on a minimum. Hopefully he doesn't get any worse. We got to bring back Ayo Dosumu. Vucevic is out there. He going to go back to the Clippers. So that's perfect for them. So they don't lose that trade because they actually got a, a long-term starting center. I just needed to get to the point where we have Ayo Dosumu back on the roster. I don't care about nothing else, low key. One year, six million is what they offered. I think it was the Timberwolves that tried to steal my boy. Absolutely not. It, it was inevitable. It was definitely inevitable that DeMar DeRose was going to fall off at least a little bit. Um, Lonzo Ball got a lot better, so that's dope. We got a lot of people on the last year of the deal. One, two, um, three, technically. Four. Oh my god. Five. Oh my god. Okay, Marcus Moore's scene sucks. But Patrick Williams is really good. So that's a that's a good sign. Our younger players are getting better, the older players are getting worse, which is the way basketball works. Oh, this injury was a lot worse than I anticipated. Four to six more months for Patrick Williams. That is not ideal. At all like at all. Uh I don't know how we play this now. Because we don't have a backup. I mean, you can run some backup for Dario. But we got an oh Jay Sean. Right, Jay Sean does that as well. Okay, so we're kind of fine there. It kind of sucks that Marcus Moore Sr. has to be our starter. I low-key, I would start... Nah, I'm going to take Marcus Moore just for the size. Jay Sean could come off the bench. Our team does not look better this year. We got to figure out what the heck DeMar DeRozan is thinking about because I don't want to pay him a lot of money. Oh, my God, DeMar. 
Bro, oh my god, Lonzo wants f expected 40 million dollars? 40? Oh no, we gotta somehow convince you to bring that down, my boy. Patrick Williams wants 30. Yeah, what's happening, bro? It's impossible for all of y'all to want and get that money. We all have to make some trades, potentially. Marcus in his first game, even though he's like not very good anymore, 21. All right, we're going to go to the deadline. I don't know exactly what we do there, but the idea of paying Patrick Williams 30, Lonzo 39, and then De DeMar DeRozan, who gets injured a week into the season, 39. Like, how am I supposed to do that? It's impossible. Apparently, we're not a profitable organization anymore. We're hemorrhaging money? What is, we just came off a championship run. And the fans and the, and the fans are a 91% interest. So I'm not completely sure w w why we're losing so much money. Chicago Bulls, not profitable. I don't know how realistic that is. I, I don't look into the, the books of sports organizations, but I would assume that the Bulls are profitable. Is this an assumption? I don't really know for sure. The Bulls are back and the Bulls are better. You know what I'm saying? Um, what do we do? I don't know. I don't really know the answer to that. What teams are selling? Is there any team in the NBA that's selling? It is going to be the LA Lakers. Um, Anthony Davis is out there. He's 30. Maybe, the, you know, getting worse and worse by the year. RJ Barrett got traded or signed there because, like I said, this is before a lot of the stuff. So he signed an extension in real life. Not in the game. I'm willing to give you Marcus Morris and then... Well, you're going to want some young a assets, right? Don't really want to give him up. But y'all saw how much money bro is trying to make. He's trying to make more money or close to the money that Anthony Davis is making. Bro's a 78 overall. He ain't got that much better. I mean, I'd be willing to do it. I legit would be willing to do it. He's got zero defensive badges. That sounds crazy. Um, What about, is there anybody else that's young on the team that you'd be interested in? That's not Ayo Desumu because he's safe. Dalen Terry, two-star value for you. What about the rookie that we just drafted? Two and a half star value. Okay. So you give us back your worst real player, which in this case is Ty Jerome, one star value. I will give you the Trailblazer pick. Okay. The Trailblazer must be a playoff team. They must be a playoff team. I'm also willing to give you the Nets pick, who also must be a playoff team. Makes sense. Add a trade exception. Anthony Davis. Oh, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. We didn't build the big four. We did it. Zoo, you can go back to the backup center. Dario, we probably got to move you to get a four. We're gonna probably move Dario to get a four. That's a huge trade for us. I mean, for anybody, it'll be a huge trade. But like, I can understand them doing it. They were bad, bad. Um, they got some picks, finally. The, you know, the Lakers don't really have any of those. They got a young player, Patrick Williams, to believe in. And we, we can't even guarantee that he'll be willing to resign. That's a big thing. We don't even know if he'll be able to resign or be willing to resign. So um, it's a gamble on our part, but a gamble I'm willing to take. You know, now we need a, like a four. Marco Shamanis is coming back, but this trade is really about PJ Washington coming into the team. And just like that, we got a new four to start. Y'all, we are going back to back. That's the plan. Alex Caruso ain't even played this season. I feel bad because in real life, Alex Caruso is that dude. Um, but he just doesn't translate to 2K simulation. So, another repeat. That's the plan. Um, would you believe me if I said Anthony Davis got got uh, injured a week after we traded for him? Would you believe me if I told you that? you probably say yes. Um, wow, he went from most approved to six man. He, he running the gauntlet. Defense player to Evan Mobley at 22 years old. He's the youngest defense player in NBA history. I'm not Googling it, but it feels about right. He also won most improved player. Um, so the Cavs are probably that team right now. Shea is all NBA first team. Shout out to him. Second team sees Ben Simmons, who was sixth man of the year last year. He got a starting spot. He took that starting spot away. And Anthony Davis is on third team. So he got injured. I mean, he came back eventually. It wasn't like a long-term injury. I think he missed like a month, maybe. And we fell. I mean, as you can probably imagine, we gave up a lot to get him on the team. But defensively, we have two all NBA first team, uh, defensive team players. And yeah. I feel good. I mean, we didn't have his highest seed as last year. We were three seed last year, four seed now. But we got some top playoff performers. Anthony Davis, one of the greatest playoff performers of our generation. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, what, last year, DeMar DeRozan, that was the real deal. That was the absolute real deal. And we swept this team last year. I would I would say we're better this year. We look better on paper, at least. Anthony Davis is kind of good in that number three. I won't lie. Come to Chicago, AD. That contract going to be up in L.A., Especially if y'all disappoint again in real life. Come on, you gotta you gotta come to Chi-Town. Another sweep. Zubots was even injured. I ain't even know. Wait, we don't lose two games in a row right there, right? 
We're gonna lose two games in a row. Zach Levine got injured! No. No. Are you out for the entire playoff run? No way. No way. Four to six. That's, the, that's like the whole playoffs. See what I, I accidentally hit that automated thing. This. I need to know about the injuries. Zach Levine getting injured hurts a ton. We have Gary Harris. AD. We dang look at AD's injury situation. He's fatigued as heck. Risk of injuries. Hot. <laughs> AD, bro, we need you to turn into Anthony Davis. There we go. We get out of the first round, but not having Zach Levine for the rest of the way is going to suck. We're going against this team again. We beat them last year. Can we beat them again with Gary Harris in our back starting backcourt? I mean, Gallinari's now back from his injuries. I just don't like it. Game one. Bulls win. We take home court advantage behind an Anthony Davis performance. Did not get to the free throw line. I don't love that from our starting center, but we win. win. We do not win game two, but Anthony Davis tried to do a stick. He missed six threes. It's probably a little bit more than I want you taking, but we win game three. Thank you, DeMar. Thank you, DeMar. Thank you, DeMar. I bet it was him again. Oh, it was Anthony. Oh, snap. We beat the one seed without Zach. Is Zach, like, on the verge of coming back? I know I, know I said four to six, but injuries in this game are weird like that. We're like, it's say four to six, but it ended up being two. You know, we got we got the best training staff of basketball. We're going against the Brooklyn Nets. Um, Edmund Summer, Sumner, and then Kessler Edwards. Obviously, there's one player on the team that we super worried about. But the rest is like, you know, we're cool. Game one is a win. I don't know who you are, but you came to play for them as the backup center. Oh, my God, you're really good. 14th overall pick last year. Uh, but Anthony Davis, double-double. Lonzo, double-double and 37 from DeMar. Game two, let's go. Overtime win, overtime win. A triple-double from Ben, but it was like KD and Ben versus the world. Well, we have Lonzo with a almost triple-double with five steals. Are we going to go back-to-back -back without Zach Levine? Zach Levine will be ready for the finals if we get there. Please be back. Lonzo won Eastern Conference Finals MVP. And Zion again. So a rematch of last year. It's becoming a rivalry. Zach, where are you at, man? He's one to two weeks, which means he's day to day. If we can win a game without him, it's over. It's over. L Lonzo. Lonzo is Magic Johnson 2.0. Anthony Davis is out for the season. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. He can play through it? Oh, he's playing through it. Oh, you thought he was going to sit? It's the finals, my boy. You thought he was going to sit? He's playing through it. No, he's playing through it. They're going to try to make me pull him out, ain't they? No, Zubac also got injured. What is the injury history stuff? So we got no backup center. Legit, Marco Shamanich has to get minutes. Unless we're saying that Derrick Jones Jr. is doing that. He can't. Marco Shamanich has to get minutes. Really huge disadvantage, man. Come on. We need Zach Levine to come back. Or do we? Or do we? I mean, we got to just be clamping up. Drummond is in the second finals appearance in back-to-back -back seasons. We're up 3-1. Anthony. On one leg. No, Zach Levine. Anthony Davis, what an investment. He goes out there, and he's got a pinched nerve in his back. What a performance. Okay. Chris Paul's trying to retire. I'm going to tell him no. Udonis has him. I'm going to tell you no. Kyle Lowry, I'm telling you no. Al Horford, I'm telling you no. All right. Okay. Can we three-peat? That's my goal. Now, we're about to get super expensive. Soup. You thought we were not profitable last year. Wait till this year. This is our last dance moment. DeMar DeRozan, I signed him back on a one-year 29.8 million. He's not worth that. We just won back-to-back -back championships. I can't tell him he gots to go. So this is our last dance moment. We brought in Kyle Anderson. I'd rather start PJ for some space and reasons. Io blossomed to an 81 after, I think he ended the season at a 79. So he got up a bunch um last dance baby lonzo and zach is a backcourt lonzo is again magic johnson 2.0 zach hopefully healthy come playoff time we run in the back man john moran won mvp how old are you now 25 year old mvp shout out to him henry conley kevin porter jr and okay so we were what, three years into the future there's a ton of changes around the league like anthony davis under his first defensive player of the year here in chicago it's amazing xavier tillman wins most improved I want to say this is us, maybe, 19, 19 wins, that feels about right for us, but I don't know, I mean, 19 losses, 19 wins, we'd be in some trouble, um, Paolo makes his first All-NBA team, and then Anthony Davis is on third team, okay, cool, 
Defensively, Lonzo and AD are the best 1-5 defensive combination in all of basketball. Don't try to put them in a bigger role. You're going to lose that matchup 100% of the time. All right, so the way this is about to go is maybe not good because my boy's injured again. And actually, we're missing two rotational players. So one thing that is 100% true in this game so far is that injuries are super high. And I don't mean like knick-knack injuries because I know in real life they're, they're really high. But I mean like, oh, he out for four months type injuries because that's what we're dealing with. Zach Levine, I mean, we won it last year without you, so it's unfortunate that we got to go through it again. But you are out for one to two weeks. That's not too bad. Dalen Terry's out six to eight. So that's bad. And then Jante, uh, Jay Sean. Jay Sean is out for one or two. So we could get out of this first round. There's a chance that, you know, both of those players are back and we complain about nothing. But I'm going to have AD get his minutes up and Lonzo get his minutes up because those are our top players right now, especially without Zach being there. Good thing we're going against a eight seed here. Simulate all of that. I don't even know what they be asking me. We got the Ball Brothers going against each other in the seven-game series. Vucevic trying to get his revenge against his former team. They also have OG and Obi. That's a solid start at five, I will admit. But I think we're better. Are we better even with the injuries? I, I think it's extremely close. We have the two guys. We have Zoe and we have AD. Those two guys, can they carry us over LaMelo? Let's see. Game one is a Bulls win. And DeMar DeRozan still coming out in the playoffs. Now, he took 25 shots to get 25 points. But points are points. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Can we get out of here? Zach is back. That's the worst thing that can happen to Charlotte. And we get out of there. And Jay Sean is back. Ladies and gentlemen, the three-peat is underway, I think. I think the three-peat is underway. We got all of the guys back. The whole rotation is here. Zach, his first game back, how did you perform? Oh, he played two games. And I mean, you wouldn't have known he was injured. <laughs> you wouldn't have known he was injured. He came back better than ever. Game one, I should probably see if they made any changes to their organization. Uh, they got Desmond Bain now. That's a huge improvement over there, bro. Desmond Bain is like that. But I, I don't know if it matters too much. Game two. Are we going to sweep them? Are we going to sweep them? We're the most dominant team since the 01. Anthony Davis, day-to-day? Day? Data Davis, that's what they call him, right? Desmond Bain, yeah, elite. Okay, it was only day-to-day, -day, so he should be back. Um, he should be. Get back in that lineup. Okay, he's injured. He's trying to play through it. Just skip back. Okay, conference finals. AD is completely healthy now. And look who's here. We knew they eventually be seen. This team is elite. 290s. 88 and 87. Wow. Isaac Carwon and DeMar DeRozan are the same caliber player in this universe. They're a better team. We have the better record. They're the better team right now. Well, let's take a look at that bench, though, because I don't know that bench could be, you know, lackluster. Gordon Hayward, Buddy Heald, Malik Beasley, Mike Conley. Oh, snap. The bench is nice. Now, these are older players for sure. This, this is past prime Gordon, past prime Buddy, past prime Mike Conley, who's out, actually, so we don't have to worry about that. But still quality players. All right. Game one. And the shy is a win. A big win. Yeah, Lonzo's insane, bro. Zach Levine, insane. Come on. Get back. 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two, two. Three, two. Houston Rockets are in the finals. And we got another game seven. Um, I will say my major criticism so far is that sim speed in this game is, is pretty, pretty slow. Sim speed is pretty slow. The overall reaction time between hidden buttons or input, and input is really bad. Um, so hopefully that gets better on upon launch, but I don't I don't know. I don't really know. Okay, so I'm giving my boys the minutes because we need the most value. Here we go. In the UC versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's close. It's really close. It's too close for my liking. It's not close anymore. The Bulls are going back to back to back finals. And Lonzo with his second Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Does that show up on your resume in this game? Let's see. Lonzo Ball resume looks like it doesn't show that he won two MVP awards. What's the point of having it? He didn't even get his Eastern Conference player MVPs. Okay. All right. Well, we're going against the Houston Rockets who have Kyrie. Yeah. Yeah, they got they brought in Kyrie and kept the rest of the core intact. Now, they did give us Jay Sean Tate. We made a trade with this team. What did we give them? I forgot we gave them. They gave us Jay Sean Tate. We gave them Kobe White, didn't we? Is Kobe White still over there? I think he, he probably is. He was under a, a multi-year deal. He's averaging 13 in the playoffs and shooting very, very good, man. Shout out to him. Can he get his revenge? Game one is a loss. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. That's not a big deal. Game two. 
is a win. There we go. We back on track. We back on track. We back on track. Triple double from Lonzo. No big deal. Game three. We back on track, baby. We take that back. Give up 3-1. 3-1. Daylon Terry's back from his injury. Right in time for a celebration. And we just made the Bulls a powerhouse again. Back to back to back. Repeating. This core is elite. Make that trade in real life. We're going to be nice. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel, NBA 2K23. We are going insane. Um, as you see, a three-peat in the very first video. I, I was trying to win one championship. Though. I thought it was going to take me three years. It took me one. It took me three to get three. Perfect so far.